on this episode of Bass to Billfish. Daily News Contest winner Anthony Domino and his son Angelo travel from New York to Miami, Florida for a fishing trip with Peter Miller. Welcome to Miami. While looking to put Angelo on his first fish ever. There you go, yeah! They find themselves in the middle of a mahi melee. Woo! We got a swarm behind us. But when the storms roll in. It's like a freaking tornado. Anthony steps up to battle the biggest fish of his life. Yeah, there he is! Woo! Florida, the fishing capital of the world. Oh, yes. With incredible fishing around every corner. Yes, set it. This is truly an angler's paradise. <laughs> Join Peter Miller as he travels in search of big fish. I caught that. And shares his adventures with guests from around the globe. Oh my God. <laughs> from freshwater to saltwater, ocean to Everglades. Wow. Join him for a fishing experience like no other. Yeah! This is Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller. Presented by Yellowfin. So here we are, catching bait before today's mission. We're picking up the uh, winners of the Daily News Contest in New York. This particular episode of Bass to Billfish was a deal in conjunction with the Daily Newspaper out of New York City, my original hometown. The deal was you could only apply if you were a first responder or if you work for the transit system or sanitation, basically giving back to the people. And uh, we're going to pick them up in a couple hours, but first, Mike and I need to catch some bait. And we headed out in search of bait. The first thing you want to do when you get to a bait spot is look at your depth finder. Yeah, they're thick. And you put the chum bag out and they get attracted to your chum bag, so you've got that going. Then we use sabiki rigs, which is about a six hook rig, and you actually catch them on these bare hooks with plastic. We've caught about 15 of these guys. The alihu are swarming right now, I gotta get the net. If they're thick around the boat, we throw the cast net. The alihu coming in right now. Oh, you got him, dude. All right, I think we got a couple in here. I could feel them twitching. <laughs> Didn't get a ton, but every five or six baits make a big difference. So we finished catching bait, and it was time to pick up my guests. We went over to Crandon Marina over on Key Biscayne, and I saw Anthony, Angelo, and the newspaper reporter, Nicole from the Daily News, was talking to the guys, kind of like a pre-interview prior to our fishing expedition. I'm pretty excited. It's my first time fishing, so I want him to catch the biggest fish. Meeting the guys for the first time, like any guest, and you're a little nervous. Anthony. That's me. Angelo. Right here. Hey, guys. Hey. Nice to meet you. I'm Peter. Finally see you in real life. Seeing him on TV is one thing, so when you shake his hand in person, it's like, wow, this is the top dog. Truly an honor. Good, man. Truly I'm glad. Honor to be here with the, uh, with the best. Really nice guys open us like family open arms and everything. Oh yeah, I brought some gifts for you guys too. The first thing I like to do when the guys get on the boat is hook them up with some of my partner sponsor gear. Look at that, size 38 shorts. So I gave a bag full of Salt Life clothes. We got Bass to Billfish visors for you guys. That's what I want. Oh, and guess what? You guys get to keep this brand new Yeti bag too. Ooh. I gave him a beautiful Yeti bag, you know, I mean, top of the line stuff. Monster speakers, this is called a back float. It's a floating Bluetooth speaker. And here's a firecracker speaker. This has a flashlight on it, and it's also Bluetooth. So enjoy your gifts, guys. Thank you, my friend. Welcome to Miami. How long have you been doing this? Oh, uh, God, man, since I was a little kid. Wow. I mean, literally three years old in New York. I grew up in Rockland County. Right over the tap. Yeah, Tap and Z Bridge, that's right. Been there. Really nice guys, down to earth, and pretty funny, actually. What do you think? Should we go fishing? Let's get ready, ready to rumble. Let's go. Let's do it. My plan was to head offshore, but as we're running past the reef, there's one of my favorite spots, which is called the Patch. If we caught a dozen baits here, yeah, I'd be happy. Angela's never caught a fish. Start little, and we'll work our way up. There's something here. Got a little. You want to catch your first fish ever? Here you go. Take this, take this rod. The way it was pulling, it wasn't too strong, but I guess it was like my first time reeling the fish in. First fish coming in. I see him, it's a, it looks like a runner. Stop reeling, now we swing him in, 
and then you've caught your first fish. Congratulations. Wow. First fish ding, ever. Ding, ding. <laughs> Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Got him on! Oh, got him on! Dude, we got a swarm behind us. Come to Papa. It is a fishing fest of us. You ain't kidding, brother. I mean, that's literally a wall of water coming right there. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Follow Peter Miller Fishing on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. Mercury Marine, go boldly. NTB Tire Kingdom, merchants, that's all you need. Peter Miller is fishing with his guests, Anthony and Angelo, in Miami, Florida. Valley here, we're swarming right now. I gotta get the net. After loading up on bait. All right, I could feel him twitching. Peter helps Angelo catch his first fish ever. Congratulations. Wow. Now, they head offshore in search of mahi. For this particular day, the wind completely laid down. And when that happens, this time of year, you run offshore. You have to go look for mahi. So we ran out to 10 miles off the coast and we started looking for birds. Looking for some bird life. And they see a frigate up here. Frigates to the right, storms to the left. When you head offshore, it's really important to be able to rely on your equipment. I got my Ray Marine radar, depth finder, and then I've got my Mercury's, which I just had tuned up. I got my Yellowfin, which is running strong. So it's nice to be able to have that confidence when you see giant squalls with lightning coming your way. And because of having everything dialed in, you can do that and feel comfortable. A lot of water, guys. I mean, that's literally a wall of water coming right there. We kept on following the birds, looking for the birds. I mean, we kept on going and going like the Energizer Bunny. I mean, you see the birds, where are they? My, uh, Pete goes, hey, we got a diver. Oh, diver, we got a diver there. It's like this is the spot. Oh my God, it's a bird festivus. That's when uh, the, the mahis came up at that spot. Got him on, oh, got him on. I kind of looked at both of them, I said, who's gonna do it? And dad says, I want Angela to get it. There you go, yeah. And I'm just reeling them, reeling them. That was really fun, that was really cool. Pump up, and I reel down. And he whines, a lot of people have a tendency, instead of turning in a circle, they start to turn in a square. As the day goes by, they kind of learn how to turn more in a circle. There you go, now you're getting it. Oh, the bicep workout. This is like my first time reeling the fish in, so it was kind of hard. There you go, faster, yeah! He's an angler now, folks. Eventually, I learned the technique, and I got it. I see it down there. It looks like a mahi-mahi. When I saw it come up, I was like, wow, I did that. Look at that guy, look at the color on that thing. Wow, it was a really good fish. Your son's first ever mahi. And to be a mahi was really cool because they're such beautiful looking creatures. That was your first legit fish, right? Yeah. How'd it feel? It felt good. Yeah? So we get the first fish to the boat, and normally there's gonna be a school following that one fish. I'm looking, looking, nothing there. It was kind of the lone ranger. He kind of got separated from his pack. So we decided to move on. Yeah, you see them all down there? We started running, looking at the binoculars again, and all of a sudden I saw birds kind of picking. Look at them up here. Which means they're moving and spinning. As soon as they start doing that, you know there's bait and there's fish there. Got them on, guys, got them on. He never been fishing, he never caught a fish, so I wanted him to catch the first fish, and he did. Then Pete says, hey, you want to come at it, give it a shot? Sure, man. There you go. Nice drop back and everything. Put that hand forward. All right. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. He's swimming right at us, dude. How funny is that? Another mahi. Another mahi, another mahi. Woo, another nice one. This one's a little bigger, huh? Yeah, just a tad. That's how you do it. All right. Making home videos? Yeah. Your dad loves that thing. Anthony had a couple little things that he did which were really funny. He's a really funny guy. He's got a great sense of humor. But he had a camcorder dangling around his neck like Flavor Flav. And he also had his earpiece in for his phone. I mean, like, are you expecting a huge business call while we're 20 miles offshore? I just thought it was funny, dude. You cracked me up. Congratulations, man. Woo! We got our second fish to the boat, and I look down and I see hundreds of mahi under the boat. It was like an aquarium. 
Look, there's a swarm, dude. We got a swarm behind us. Woo, it's swarm time. You're fighting a fish. There he is. That's him, that's him. Woo! Easy there, easy there. Conk the pop, buddy. Oh, melee was the word. Frenzy, feeding frenzy. Man, dude, this is ridiculous. <laughs> nice! Uh, I got another one here. You having fun? It's hard, but it's fun. Good, that's my goal. They didn't even get spooked. Just kept taking their friends. Nice one. God, there's a lot here. There's probably a hundred here, guys. I got another one here. Dolphin mayhem. I got you, I'll help you, I'll help you. And then, you know, in between all of this, I'm gaffing fish. There we go. To the cooler we go. And then you would kind of make a judgment call whether you needed to gaff or take wraps on it. We're gonna let this one go. That's how you do it. Catch and release. It is a daily news fishing fest of us. You ain't kidding, brother. We got into this bite that was so fast and furious. One of our assistants, Will, came over from the chase boat to jump on and kind of help out. And he was cutting fish off, putting them in the coolers, tying on new hooks, cutting chunks. Then my assistant, Mike, he jumps in the water with his underwater housing, with a GoPro attached to the top of that, and he's actually filming these fish, where they were literally swimming through his legs. Mike just swam into a mahi. I mean, there was all kinds of stuff going on. So you're fishing, man. You're doing it. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. They're eating bare hooks. Dude, this is ridiculous. Maybe getting a bite, maybe getting a bite. He's pulling. I see him, he's right there. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Salt Life, live salty. Yellowfin, your legacy. Costa, see what's out there. Closed captioning for Bass to Billfish has been provided by Bass Pro Shops. Nice! Daily News Contest winners Anthony and Angelo are fishing with Peter Miller in Miami, Florida. Your son's first ever mahi. After avoiding storms offshore, they hooked into a massive school of mahi. There's probably a hundred here, guys. Now, they continue with the incredible bite. <laughs> What's going on over here? You talk about mayhem on a boat, this is the epitome of mayhem. Call that a swanger. Blood squirting everywhere, and the guys were swinging them in the boat, and everywhere I look, there's fish flying, and we're trying to get them in the cooler. There you go. Bring it to the Yeti. It was crazy. It was really fun. I was like, oh, I want another one. Throw it in the, the cooler. All right, get another one. Check this out. They're going to eat this bear hook. At one point, Pete threw in the hook by itself. Boom came in and was like, wow. Bear hook. You know the bite's crazy when you can throw a bear hook and you're catching mahi, and I did that a few times. Have you ever caught a mahi, young lady? There were so many fish, in fact, that the reporter on the chase boat, who's never caught one before, was able to catch two fish. Yay! Good job. <laughs> so she had a blast, too. It was a win-win for everybody. It's a lunker. Mahi are some of the best eating fish in the ocean, and they grow rapidly. We're gonna let this one go. Well, we caught enough. We didn't need any more. So we got about 20 dolphins. There's three of us, we're allowed 30 dolphins, but we don't need to take all that. It was time to change it up. You want to try to go fish on the edge? Oh yeah. Yeah, you want to try that? Sounds good. All right guys, to the next spot. The guys always wanted to see what kite fishing looked like. They kept mentioning that to me. And we ran back in shore to kind of show them how to kite fish. The first thing I'm gonna do is put out a couple baits. I found it really cool how he was putting the needle through the fish with the rubber band. Look at this water, dude. This is a swirl central. This is what we wanted. I have never seen the kite fishing before. I, I didn't know what kite fishing was until I saw it. So you said you want to be a kite fisherman, huh? I was beyond impressed. This is one of our favorite sailfish techniques. It allows you to present baits with very little leader in the water. And if you do hook up, you can still fish with your other baits. So I kind of showed them the clips and how they work and how they'll pop out. When a fish bites, 
and it snaps out, it'll tangle these. So what we do is we reel the other two in the air and it goes right by. And, then, and as soon as the fish goes under, you can drop the baits back in the water. They think they had a nice crash course, a little 101. And by the end of the day, they were getting really good at it. Maybe getting a bite, maybe getting a bite. The first bite we get on the kite is a bite on the long bait. If I come tight, I yell at everybody to reel those baits in. I'm going under. Come on, get up here. Maybe listen to Pete. Put it down, reel it in slow. Pull up and wind down. He's reeling, he's reeling, he's reeling. I'm going, come on baby, let's go. Just don't stop, just keep on going. Pull up, you got, always gotta pull up. And now reel. There you go, that's it. He was doing a really good job. I was impressed because it was a big fish and it was different than the mahi fights. He's pulling. We didn't know exactly how big, what it was. See him. You got a barracuda. And then Pete goes, it's a cuda. I said, wow. It's a toothy critter. That barracuda was crazy. I see him, he's right there. I had to use the bathroom, so I was like, come on, I need to do this really fast <laughs> before I blow. Wind that cork to the top, and then that's it, you've done your job. And we're gonna have to go take a look at this guy. So we brought it in. Wow. Took a good look at it's it. It's a big one, dude. Look at that. Look at the teeth. Is that sick? Those teeth are like scary. He's going like, rah, rah, rah. like no way am I putting my hand near you. Good job, bro. I know you fought through the pain on that one, yeah. man. I saw it. Oh, yeah. You're My forearm hard. was burning. Felt really good. Smelly fish. Yeah, it's probably one. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. We got a hammer. Have a time. Come on, man. It's only two tornadoes and a twister coming at us. Who cares? Not too far, man. I see something down there. Yeah, there he is. Woo! Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Monster Products. Always lead, never follow. Ray Marine, simply superior. Follow Peter Miller Fishing on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. FWC, Florida is the fishing capital of the world. Fishing in Miami, Florida has been incredible for Peter and his guests. That's a nice one. After filling the cooler with mahi, they ran inshore to set up for kite fishing. So you said you want to be a kite fisherman, huh? Now as the day winds down, they look for one last bite. So we put the kites back out and we're hoping for another kite bite. And uh, Will yells, there's two sharks coming. Yeah, look like a hammerhead. Let's see if he eats our baits. Casted a bait right to one of them and he ate it instantly. Ow, ow, ow! And Anthony started going to work on this thing. We got a hammer, hammer time! And he gave me the workout of a lifetime, boy. That was uh, my first really big one as far as, you know, anything over 30 pounds, you know. This could take a while. No problem. Yeah! It's like a freaking tornado. And we got rain and getting like rough waves. That was awesome. Still gaining? Yep. You all right? I want to make sure that he wasn't going so hard that he's going to like collapse. You know, that's my goal. Don't collapse. We want to get you home safely. Look at your pops, dude. He's dedicated. It's only two tornadoes and a twister coming at us. Who cares? The chop started getting a little rougher. On the boat was going back and forth. You might have to go forward. You can't rub on the boat. I think I did pretty good walking from forward and aft and side to side in front of the boat and not falling. Nice moves. Look at this guy. He spent some nights at Studio 54. You'd have this major squall with lightning and rain coming at you, but off in the distance you could see Miami Beach with the sun setting behind it, with this beautiful silhouette and a little orange glow. So you're kind of like, that's awesome. It is nasty. Storms, hammerhead, mono leader, long day, finishing strong. I see him, I'm not too sure. You see it? You gotta be really close. Keep pumping. Pump up and a couple turns down. Not too far, man. I see something down. You saw him? Yeah, there he is! Woo! He fought this fish to completion, which was very impressive in those conditions. Lightning, rain, you name it. Great job. Nice catch, man. That's a catch. Seeing that hammerhead shark come to the surface, that was awesome. That was a cool catch, dude. When it came up, like, that's all you're gonna get from me. I was right back down. Yeah, boy. In the squalls, in the storms. Finish out the day, it's like eight o'clock at night. It's going again. 
You hear like the line going out, he's losing it and he's gaining it back. Do you feel like you lost a lot of line again or no? I lost a good amount. Well, it's already a catch, that's the good news. He fights it at least an hour and a half. There you go, I see him, there he is again, guys. He got this fish up to the boat, but he couldn't quite get it close enough. So I started finger tipping it, and then he would dive down and come back. We must have done that 15 times. Popping up. Woo! There he is. Uh -oh. And then finally it popped its dorsal fin. Oh my God. The reporter, Nicole from the Daily News, she's like, oh my God. That's when you know you're good, when you hear an oh my God, when the dorsal pops out. Look at that son of a gun. That is awesome. Ah, smile, baby. All I can remember is he looks at me with his left eye, smiles at me, says, that's it, you're done. And then he goes on the, and it was over. Popped off. Good job, man. We had a great day, and I think all in all, it was a very successful trip for a couple of good guys, father-son team, and it was really nice to see. Nice work. Oh, yeah. Nice work, man. Congratulations on your first fish, too. Thanks. Let's head back to the dock. It's kind of like a blur right now, but it was a crazy experience. I had a lot of fun, and learning a lot from Pete, telling me about like how to fish. I honestly can't wait to do it again. It's truly a blessing that uh, I had this opportunity to be here. You know, I always wanted to go fishing, but I never had the opportunity. That was uh, quite a blessing, just to be here with Pete on a boat. That, that was priceless, you know. A dream come true. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you'd like to see more photos, videos, unseen footage, and to interact with us, please check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And also, you can check us out on my blog at Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you out on the water.